Hi, this video is on series and parallel, and this is actually a, the video or the continuation of part six. Um, in this video, we're actually going to go ahead and solve for the resi or the voltage on R7. But uh, in the previous video, what we did is we condensed this whole circuit down uh, in order to solve for the resistance, uh, the total resistance, and in order to solve for the total current in the circuit. Uh, but here, what we want is we want to know, well, what's, what's this voltage R7? What's the voltage on this resistor? So in order to do that, we actually have to work backwards. Initially, when we first uh, were solving for the resistance and the current, we had to start here and work our way this way. But now, we, since we have the circuit in this form, we actually have to uh, expand this, uh, this resistor because this one resistor represents, um, it represents all of these resistors. So we have to start over here and work our way to the right. So our RP3 is actually, it represents if you put your, your multimeter, your, your leads, one right here and one right here. And that's what you would read this whole, the combination of all of these um, resistors. So let's scroll down a bit. So right now, uh, what we're doing here is we're going to solve for the voltage across our RP3. So we can, we, we can do this one of two ways. We can use the current or we can use the, the voltage divider rule. So here we can say, okay, so the current going through RP3, so the, the current times this resistor will give us the voltage across this resistor, the voltage from here to here. Or if we don't know IT, which we solved for it in the previous video, uh, if you, and here's how we solved it. So we had 100 volts, and actually RT, the total resistance, is equal to 187.42 ohms, which we would get a, and we would solve for the current this way. Or we could use this formula. If you did not know the current, you didn't want to bother solving for it, you could just use this formula right here. And the way you use this formula is you say, okay, the, the, the voltage that I want to solve for is this one. Is, is, the is the voltage across this resistor. So what you do is you get this resistor and you're gonna divide this resistor by the total resistance. So you're gonna divide it by R1 plus RP3 plus R8, these three. And then you're gonna multiply it times the, the voltage of the source. So the total voltage uh, that's supplying this, this resistor, or all the resistors actually. So in this case, you put RP3 up here uh, and all the resistors underneath it times the voltage of the source. So if now that's for RP3. If I wanted to solve for the voltage across this resistor, I would put R1 up here, and these and everything else would be the same. Or if I wanted to solve for the voltage across R8, I would just put R8 up here, and everything else would be the same. So it would still be R1 plus RP3 plus R8 times Vs, and that'll give you the voltage across uh, whatever resistor you're looking for. In this instance, the RP3, that's going to give us the voltage across this guy. And that's what I did here. So here I, I did it as if I'm using this formula on this side. And over here, I'm actually using this formula. So either way, you see you get the same answer, 41.308 volts uh, or 41.308 volts if you use it this way. So no change. So then that's the voltage across that uh, that resistor. So now at this point, since I know this voltage, I'm going to actually expand RP3. Now this these two uh, resistors, or they represent what RP3 is because RP3 is actually uh, these two in parallel. So at this point, I expanded the circuit out. So RS2 actually represents all this over here from R7 all the way to R3. That's what that represents. And then you have R2 in there. So that's where you have R2 and then you have RS2, which represents all those other uh, resistors. Sorry I'm out of time. Please watch the next video in the series to continue from where I leave off. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click like down below and subscribe so you will know when I post the continuation of this video. Good luck in your classes.